Well, Mark, welcome to Totally Guitars, by the way. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, you've been here for a couple days. Yes, I have. Right? I've yeah. been down to the beach. Yeah, yeah. What did you think of the California beach? Or have you been here before? I have not been to a California beach before. Yeah. Um, tell me about your guitar playing. Like, when did you, when did you start playing guitar? Or... Okay, I started taking lessons in the fifth grade after an obligatory year of piano. Okay. Parents, Obli yeah, parents yeah. obligate. I mean, yeah. parents. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad now. It's something I didn't really appreciate at the time, but yeah. I'm, I'm glad I did. Oh. Um, and how did you find how did you find Totally Guitars? Or had you been looking at a lot of different internet stuff? Or uh, no, actually, I was looking for a specific song. I was looking for uh, Gordon Whitefoot, if you could read my mind. Oh, okay. And I came across it, and so I went and bought that one song. Okay. And I thought, well, I'll see what else they got on here. And I think the next one I saw was that 17. So I bought that one. Oh. Then I started looking at the prices versus how much it would cost to join. Two songs, about a month's I'm, worth of, yeah. you know, it's... And I'm, I'm going through, and there's a lot of, what I like was there's a lot of the old stuff, yeah. you know, on there, so... I, I teach what I grew up with, you know, that's the... Well, and, and see, that's pretty yeah. much what I grew up with. You were born in, what, 56, 56 right? yeah. And so I was in 53, so... Yeah, yeah so we heard all the same stuff. That late you know. 60s stuff yeah. was just the roots of all kinds of stuff, and into the 70s, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. So there were, you know, there was song after song, and there was, like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to be able to play that, I'd like to be able to play that, so... Yeah. And the problem is there's just so many that I, I tend to kind of jump from one to the other now. You know, I see something shiny over there and I go, yeah. go over there and pick it up and play with it for a while and don't really get it down all the way and then I go on to something else. So. And you know, that's mm -hmm. absolutely okay because I have, um, it's not always necessary to like take something and, and get it mastered before you go on to the next thing. Um, it's, it's good to get out of it something, maybe a lot of stuff. Um, but but frankly, a lot of songs, in order to master them, could if you get it to like eighty percent, that may be all that's practical to get to right now, depending on your level and depending on the song and some things like that. Sometimes, and now you might look at an easier song and you can knock it out in a couple of days, and it you know it's maybe a level two or three song or something like that. And um, but I've had a lot of students over the years that we've looked at the same song maybe three or four different times, a couple of years apart, and every time we're they're getting something different out of it. You know, yeah. so yeah. It's, so a lot of times I'll I'll you know we'll work on a song and I'll say you know let's just now after maybe a few weeks and, and doing other things at the same time or so maybe even sometimes after months uh, I'll say let's just let that one rest for a while now and let's go off and do something else and then you know we might in six months come back and revisit it and and sometimes I'll think oh man I haven't played it in six months it's going to be so rusty I said no because of what we've been doing for the last six months it's going to be in pretty good shape in just a day or two it'll probably be back close to as good as you had it and then you'd be ready to to you know, get more out of it a little bit too. So I, I rarely, you know, push somebody to say, you know, we're not doing anything else until you can, until you've mastered this. Now I might say you really have to get a better control of this. It's more important right now that you get, that get this to a, a little higher level, but it's rarely going to be um, mastered. I mean, that's a term I, I, I kind of reserve for um, emergencies almost or something. I don't you know. <laughs> it's, it's, so, uh, you know, it, it, yeah, you never have to feel like, like, oh, I can't do, do that one until I've got this one down, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's always really good, too, to be working on things of, at multiple levels. You know, sometimes something that's pretty easy for you, sometimes something you've been playing for years but maybe needs some fine-tuning, and, and then something that has a lot of new stuff in it that is, is a challenge. So it's, it's good to be multiple fronts. Right, and it's nice to have something you can just kind of play, just lie back and not really think about it, be able to play it. Yeah. You know, something yeah. you've got down like that. And I've noticed a lot of times... I could be having trouble with a song to the extent that I'm looking at it down and well, this tab can't be right because it doesn't sound right. And then I'll come back to it a couple of months later and go, oh, I see now. You know, yeah, you know. You know um, a, a big drawback to tab or anything is, um, you know, it can show you the notes to play. It can't always show you the timing very well. You'd have to really look at the music to get the timing. Right. But right. the the biggest thing, in, in a song I put up recently, Waiuli, one of my originals, um, that was this Hawaiian type song, or at least I wrote it in Hawaii. But, um, is an example of a song that has kind of three parts: bass notes and a melody, a melody that you could play or sing on a, or a flute could play or something. But then there are a lot of filler notes in there too that are just part of the part of the overall picture. And if you play every note with the same, like if you had the computer play that song, notes that are supposed to be in the background would come out right. and step on melody notes, and you mm -hmm. think that's not very musical, you know. And then you'd maybe listen to me play it and say. I can barely hear that note. Oh, but it, it is there. You know, it's like, and so it has to be like way, so you kind of like need layers or relative volumes of notes, even in a measure, 
you know, and 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 that's a that's a hard thing to get. You certainly can't get there from the tablature, you know, because in the tablature every note looks it's it's either on or off. It's binary, you know. You play it or you don't, you know. That's so, true. and um, so it's hard to find sometimes what the melody ones are. Yeah, which ones belong to the melody, which ones are the transition notes. Yeah, and um, in Waiuli, I kind of pointed that out. Like in one version, of, in one verse, I have it play. You just play the bass and the melody. You know, it, like the fourth time through, it comes out like that, just sort of stripped down. Whereas in the beginning, you hear this. So there's all kinds of other stuff in there, and if you play all those at the same volume, you wouldn't have heard the melody you just heard right there. So there, you know, you could hear that some stuff was in the background, and that's a. That could almost be a different song. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I found the Request a Lesson oh, yeah. feature on there in Requested Sunlight by the Youngbloods because I've always wanted to, to play that. Mm. Well, it's got the minor seventh in there and yeah. I kept hitting that thing and it was dead. Yeah. And then there was, um, what was the other one I wanted to play? Oh, um, I Feel Fine. Oh. <laughs> So that that's got a place in there where you've got to go to the bar barred note. Right. And that was dead. Yeah. So I go, this is really frustrating. Yeah. So I tried. I tried. First of all, I discovered that a lot of times the string was resting on my joint. Right. So I tried to maneuver my finger, but it still feels like the the skin's almost too soft. Almost like I need a callus there or something. Yeah. To, to really provide a grip. So there are a couple thing. things. A couple things. Let me see you play that D minor seven from uh, Sunlight. <laughs> I'm hearing the note. Of course. Now <laughs> you're here. <laughs> Fixed! I'm in California. There you go.